Hey, Cy, here's what it looks like, man. Uh, I just used the old one for now, just so I can do some practicing and stuff. And this, I thought I had quarter-inch aluminum. I, I don't. You can see what I had to do was, I think it's called a facing operation. And so right here, what I had to do was just flatten out the top to get it to uh, 0 0.250. And then, uh, you see all those lines and stuff? That's because I got shitty end mills. Uh, I got some American end mills that I bought. I got two of them. And they wouldn't leave that kind of finish on there. Plus, probably the speeds and feeds were messed up. And I also just, I chucked it up in a vise. So, this part was, uh, out here, was hanging off the end of the vise. And so, that's what a lot of this is. It's chatter. Uh, it's shitty, it's shitty end mills and chatter. So, I just wanted to see if I could you know, how it was going to work out when I cut the shape, and, uh, the shape looks okay, but my end mill's too big, like I thought before, so right here is where that little lip is, right there, supposed to go, so my smallest is 0.188, I think that's a 3 16 end mill, um, so it's not going to do it, uh, but I got the I got the shape of it, and, and the G-code worked out. I was pretty happy, man. I, shit, it's the first time it's run under G-code, <laughs> and uh, that I was actually able to do it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to order a small bit from Amazon. I'm going to get a really small one so that we can uh, pocket that place right there where that where it goes in right here and I got Amazon Prime so it should be three days I should have it at the house and I, I I mean this was I made so many mistakes but I can't believe this mill is really powerful man the first dive into the aluminum was two hundred thousandths and I almost hit the e-stop man because I was like I'm gonna snap that bit it didn't snap it at all it was a slow feed rate so it just plunged in and knocked out all of that but I didn't go deep enough so I got to check that out. But a good quality end mill, which I won't, I'm not going to buy a big one because those are expensive as shit, but I'll buy a small one. I'll just use the cheap Chinese shit I got right now and work on my speeds and feeds. It'll clean up a little bit, but it won't be perfect. But once I get that other end mill, then the, the, the radius that we're cutting out will probably look really good. And then can just we'll just buff these out right here and then of course the other side is you know it's already buffed out it's just a you know a little bit of cleanup and whatnot but you know what too I didn't even think about it I do have a one inch end mill American made no one and a half so you know I'm gonna do that I'm gonna use the one inch end mill I got inch and a half to take the face down and that'll clean up and not leave this crappy finish on it and then use the other one I'm going to order from eBay and knock that out. Anyway, uh, I think we're getting close, man.